Hey guys, Lord Queenie Pants here. Thank you so much for joining me for my newest Let's Play series on Always Sometimes Monsters. This game is pretty cool actually. I'm really enjoying the concept so far of it. The game can be pretty different every time you play for the mere fact that it's really dependent upon the choices you make and how you interact with everybody you meet. So for that reason, I'm going to be uploading two different save files. One's going to be a complete asshole and we're going to pick the worst choice every single time. And the other one is going to be the complete opposite. She's going to be a complete sweetheart, a little angel, and we're going to see how they're different. Luckily for us, the game gives you more than one thing to be doing at a time, and you can't do them both, luckily. So that's really cool. It's not going to be a lot of the same thing in the episodes. For example, you can help your elderly neighbor in the beginning of the game and help clean up her house when she's getting ready for a little party. Or you can go help your friend at the club in town and help get ready for his show that he's having later that night. But you can't do both. So I'm purposely going to be doing different things in each game so you can see how different the game ends up being for each. I hope you enjoy, guys. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you're not finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You check that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Okay, we are the black haired man right now. Hey, what did I just tell you? You're not going anywhere unless I say so. See ya! He keeps following us. This is what I don't like about games like this. They just keep stopping you to talk. Like, we can talk and walk at the same time, I swear. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Talking for we. Who do you think we are? There's no we. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute? Or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. I don't know what he's talking about, because I'm pretty sure he's in my way, not his way. He can keep on walking down the street. We're done talking to him anyways. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. <laughs> can you imagine that? Winding up back here again. Goddamn schizo, are you fucked in the head? Guy's really not making that much sense at the moment, so eh. Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go though, there is something I think you ought to take a look at. I have a feeling we're gonna get blackmailed. Embarrassing pictures or something? He knows what we do for a living? What the hell is this? Or he's just gonna hold us at gunpoint. That's cool too, Manny, whatever floats your boat. Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Okay, I guess he is expecting us. Go ahead. I'll wait. It's cool, it's cool. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. Okay, maybe this guy is kind of screwed up in the head. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games. Don't you? What do you say to give me mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's been smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Yeah, that's kind of what I wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story though, one about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or, we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? I don't see why this guy's complaining about time. He's the one following me out in the rain in the alleyway. 
Doesn't seem like he is anywhere he needs to be. Either way, the choice is always yours. Well, let's be an asshole. Shoot first, talk later. Oh my god, it actually let us do that. <laughs> How predictable. Really? Is it really that predictable? I'll see you in another life, my friend. Um, okay, I guess we just ended the game. I don't know if we lost or won. <laughs> All right, well, now that we've tried that route, let's go ahead and actually talk to him and listen to what he has to say. If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? But if that party was life itself, led by the nose, barely wanting to take part, did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fairweather, fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important, not a lover and not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. All right, so we're the man. Okay, that's cool. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over. You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay. I love you too. Alright, so this is actually pretty cool. You get to pick your character based on who you toast and have a drink with. Um, for my first character, I chose the girl on the right here, right in front of me. Um, I'm going to try for a guy this time. Um, I guess we'll talk to these guys. Hey, Larry! I see you've got a cat running around here like it owns the place. How come you told me I couldn't bring my dog? Firstly, I have no idea whose cat that is. Secondly, last time you brought your dogs around, they cornered me and wouldn't stop barking until you fed them donuts. Don't worry, dude. They used to hate me too. That's because they don't like assholes, Justin. Larry, I think they can just smell your fear, though. Next time, I'll let you feed them the donuts. Thanks, I think. Larry, there you are. I'll be settle a debate. Dude, he's not gonna like it. Are you guys talking about that game thing again? All we want to know is if you'd ever play a game where you might not wind up being the hero. A game where I might not be the hero? Alright, we're gonna be an asshole. You guys are weird. You guys are really weird. Glad he, you know, put that one in there. I didn't do it quite justice. We're weird. We're not weird. Are we? Insane, maybe. Is insane weird? I don't know. Can insane be defined? Normalcy can't, though. I guess. Hmm. Go figure. I guess that makes Larry weird, doesn't it? No offense. None taken? What? What just happened? Um. Alright, we'll just talk to this charming gentleman because I have an idea for who I want my character to be. Alright, happy birthday, pal. How old are you now anyway? 
I prefer not to check. Well, let's toast to ignorance. I've got a couple of beers if you're interested. Tonight I'll only be having one drink. Keep it simple with a beer? Let's go ahead and toast. All right, let's drink. Give me a second, I gotta run out to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. All right. So out here is where you pick your love interest. Um, this guy's talking to this girl, trying to get his game on. Bam. Mine now. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah. See, he just walked away. He knows he can't handle this. Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on us. Oh, now he thinks he's coming back. I don't know who this punk thinks he is. We gotta go though. He's waiting on us. See, he heard that and he's walking away. All right, we're gonna toast. We're gonna toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Tongue tied all of a sudden. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd kind of be pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up right now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right. We gotta make it happen first, though. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. I never leave a card with my gift, so it's all good. Forget signing it. Alright, we're gonna sign it first. Alright, so I'm going to name my character Lake. I have a friend who likes to play a lot of his games using his friend's names instead of his own. So we are going to play this guy as Lake in spirit of that. Okay, my turn. Um, I'm trying to think of it, just a really out there name um, to give for Lake's girlfriend. Um, we're gonna go ahead and name her Helga. I think that sounds pretty good together. Helga and Lake, that, that sounds like Sounds like true love right there. All the best, Lake and Helga. Right? That has a great ring to it. Damn right, it's perfect. All right, Helga, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Good luck. All right, apparently we are stuck behind some other chick. And now we're rolling. Everything's good. So Larry, before we toast, let me guess, you've got a book and you want to pitch it. Just hear me out. No need, Lake. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. That's, that's crazy. Seriously, thank you. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. To ambition? Okay. To success? Yeah, if we're gonna get an advance, it's hopefully, hopefully we're successful. To getting rich. Hear that? Um, we will go ahead and toast to world domination. Clink! Oh, I forgot they clink it for you. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? That'll do. That'll do, pig. Hello? Okay, we're still asleep. Never mind. That sounds better, right? Right? In this system, there can be no right or wrong. 
Well, we are going to push that to this game's very limits and find out what happens. Man, what time did I get in last night? Shit. Looks like my people's sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. There we go. All set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Alright, we're gonna go... Get the dollar off the couch. Found a dollar. It looks like this is actually different than the one that we have on my other character on Queenie's wall. That's not punk. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're gonna grab the pizza pouches. Which there are three left, apparently in the microwave. Not quite sure that's the safest place to- oh, no, it's probably on top of the mini fridge. I lie. Alright, let's read what's under the door now. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Attention rent- Attention tenant. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Take me to court. See what happens. Um, my credit rating can get affected. And it also has a lovely little handwritten note saying, 30 days overdue, pay up, deadbeat. Gee, thanks, management. It's always something, isn't it? All right, let's see. Came to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you and my manager hates slackers. Well, at least I've got a job. For today, that is, apparently. What happened to our book deal? Oh, this little old lady's in the way. Where is it? I know it's in here. Um, excuse me, Mrs. T. Oh, pardon me, like, am I in your way? Yeah, just, just a tad. I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There really never is enough time in the day, you know? Exactly, I'm kind of in a hurry. Get out the way. Sorry, Mrs. T, I really don't have time to chat. The landlord's been hunting me for this month's rent, and I've got to slip out of here before he catches me. Where's your girlfriend? I don't think she realizes when you say, I don't have time to chat, it means I got to get going. Um, things... Things didn't work out. It's just me now. Okay, way to bring that one up, lady. That's a real shame. You're such a nice kid. This woman doesn't know us that well, apparently. I'd hate to see you evicted. Whatever happened to that book you sold? Important questions. Did it not make any money? Still haven't finished it. I'm actually waiting on the check from the publisher still. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and it'll finally be in my mailbox today. Well, that's just awful. I'll tell you what. If you need some money, you can come by my place later, and you can help me clean a little. I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Um, I'll think about it. Can't say thank you. That's just too kind. I'll think about it, but I'm supposed to spend the day helping my friend. Maybe I'll come by if I have the time later. If you've got plans, don't worry about it. My door will be open, though, if you change your mind. Have a good day, Lake. I hope you find what you need. Thank you, I hope I find 500 bucks laying on the floor, too. Cheap-ass landlord, and I'm the deadbeat? This man can't pay the electric bill. Lucky we got out of the elevator. That light's been a problem for months. Wow. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. I might be able to slip out of here undetected. All right, let's try for, nope. Busted! Hold it, you mangy punk. You really think I wouldn't notice just because the lights are off? I had that clap on, clap off thing installed last week. 
Just where the hell do you think you're going? To work? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. I've noticed you like that word a lot, don't you? Are you gonna pay me what you owe me? Or am I going to have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're really serious about evicting me, huh? <laughs> don't worry about it, man. You know I'm good for it. Besides, I'm expecting a check from my publisher. Real soon. You know what? It's even probably here. Just relax. Look. The check's gonna be here real soon. It's gotta be here real soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? This is also one of the cool things about the game. Depending on the character that you pick, the characters interact with you differently and they say different things based on your race and your gender and just pretty much what character you pick, so that's pretty cool. I don't care whose stick you've gotta suck to get it. You're out of time, scumbag. Pay me $500 by the end of the day? You can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over the key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Are you gonna give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. Um, you know what? Fuck it, run away. Screw you, man. You're not getting my key. What are you gonna do, deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you so far? I'm out. I don't need this shit. Do sit. Oh, we're not running yet. You're an asshole. You know that? Catch you later, old man. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the beginning of this series. I know I'm really enjoying the game so far. Make sure you tune in next time to find out if we do make enough money to make our rent, or if we are homeless. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Lurk Queenie Pants. I will catch you guys later.